Another anatomical change seen in diabetic retinopathy is the breakdown of the blood retinal barrier. This barrier functions to protect retinal tissue from exposure to potentially harmful compounds carried in the blood. It is formed by non-fenestrated capillaries of the retinal circulation and the tight junctions of the retinal pigmented epithelial, or RPE, cells. The close association of the cells in the barrier prevents large molecules in the choriocapillaries, or the vessels within the underlying choroid layer, from entering the retina. Blood retinal barrier breakdown occurs very early in diabetic retinopathy, even before clinical evidence is seen. One notable cause of this breakdown is the loss of tight junctions, or zonular occludens, between adjacent retinal vascular endothelial cells. It is also possible that capillary endothelial cells become abnormally fenestrated, or perforated, as diabetic retinopathy progresses, further compromising the blood retinal barrier. Loss of the barrier function causes the retinal vessels to be leaky, resulting in swelling within the macula and subsequent CSME.